Greetings, this is Shane Ross with a Final Cut Pro tutorial on how to export multiple channels of audio, both to tape and to a QuickTime movie. As you can see I have a sequence here, all prepped and ready to go, and I want to export more than just the standard two channels that Final Cut Pro was set up to do by default. I received my mix back from the audio house in six individual files. Now these files comprise a stereo mix and other tracks the network has asked for. The first two tracks are a stereo mix for the entire project, left and right. When I received them, they came to me as mono files, and I had to manually pan them. I had to pan them from zero, let's make this a zero, from zero all the way to the left, because this is stereo left, negative one is left, and then for the right one, I had to pan all the way to one. Track three is mono dialogue, track four is mono voiceover, and tracks five and six are stereo music. So for the mono dialogue, I have this panned to zero, and mono voiceover, I have panned to zero as well. 5 and 6 are another stereo mix, so I have left pan to negative 1, and right, I will pan this to 1. There. Now I'd like to send all of these channels of audio out to tape, or make a QuickTime movie with multiple discrete audio tracks. How do you do this? Well, in a couple of steps. The first step is to go into the Sequence Settings, Sequence, Settings. Then click on the Audio Outputs tab. Here you'll notice that Final Cut Pro defaults to two audio outputs, stereo. So if I had exported a QuickTime movie with all six of these audio tracks, they would show up in QuickTime as two channels. Or if I output the sequence to tape, only channels one and two would move up and down. Four, five, and six would not. So let's change that. Let's change the number of outputs from two to six. There I have my six channels, and Final Cut Pro defaults to stereo output. Well, for tracks 1 and 2, that's fine, and 5 and 6, that's also fine. But 3 and 4, I want to show up as mono. So I click on dual mono, and switch the decibels back to 0. And then click OK. Now basically what I've done is I've told Final Cut Pro that I want to output 6 separate tracks of audio. But if I did it right now, again, I'd only have 2 channels of audio, both to the deck and to the QuickTime file. So let's go to the second step. The second step is I need to assign each one of these tracks to one of those channels that I've set up in the sequence settings. To do that's a little tricky. You kind of have to go in between the track lock and the auto select button and then kind of right click right there. Audio outputs. Now you will see all those channels that you set up in the sequence settings. Channel one, I want to go to the stereo mix of one and two. Channel two, same thing, one and two. Well, track three, I'd like to go to channel three. And as you see, it defaults to one and two. So I just move this down to three. 4 down to 4, 5 to 5 and 6, and 6 to 5 and 6. There. Now when I output this to tape via embedded SDI, I'll see all six tracks of my audio appear on the VU meters on the deck. And then when you export a QuickTime movie, let's go ahead and do that as an example. A uh, quick little small section is all we really need for that. File, export QuickTime movie. I'll make it self-contained. Just put it on the desktop. When I export this to QuickTime, the QuickTime file will also have six discrete audio channels. Let's go File, Import Files. Let's go to that promo right there. It's down here. First thing you notice is that over here I have one video track and six channels of audio. And if we come up here, we'll note that there's stereo one and two, just like we assigned them. Three is mono, four is mono, and five and six are stereo. And if we take a quick look at the QuickTime movie, let's drag this down here, open it up a QuickTime player, make it fit the window a little bit. We go to Window, Show Movie Properties, and it'll show us that we have Soundtrack 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, Soundtrack 1 is the stereo mix, 1 and 2. Soundtrack 2 is mono 3, Soundtrack 3 is mono 4, and Soundtrack 4 is a stereo mix of 5 and 6, and then down to our time code. So there you go, how to export multiple channels of audio to a QuickTime file and to the deck. Thanks for listening. Now get back to work.